This is the tale of how I wrote, shot, and edited a TikTok short film and how it literally changed lives. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. My favorite videos I've ever made. This video has um, gone further than I ever would have expected. Our story begins on a bright Tuesday morning after a sudden burst of inspiration. I've been listening to one of my favorite songs by Kate Bollinger and um, I think I'm gonna make a film about it. I've written down a really rough script. I think I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Just, I don't know where it's gonna go. Maybe this will be entertaining. And so I set off to TK Maxx in search of a new outfit. There were plenty of options, some too expensive, but after looking at ugly ties and deciding on a boring one, I had a costume and a new chopping board. I wanted to get a suit. Uh, but I left with a chopping board. Costume ready, I began thinking about the task ahead of me. I'm a little bit worried. But a friendly face looked on. Giddy, giddy, giddy. <gasps> oh my God. Dead mouse. Essentially the story. It's about the, um, the struggle of losing your passion or it just going missing. You know, one day you don't know what, what the fuck you're doing anymore. More on that later. For now, check out this new tie, these trousers, and this 15 pound shirt that I adore. Absolute steal. So anyway. I consider myself a fairly confident person. But shooting a short film on your own in public doesn't fill me with glee. I don't know what the fuck happened to that bitch. But there's definitely a barrier, a mental barrier. I mean, even doing this right now, there's no one here. But for some reason, it's uncomfortable. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. My main fear was shooting in public by myself. That's new to me. But emotions aside, there were still a couple practical issues. But number one, there's only one of me. And believe me, I'm used to that by now. I'm just gonna have to build out a shot list and a storyboard. So when I get to location, all I need to worry about is just performing and cinematography. In theory, that's easy. Oh, Danny, so naive. Well, let's get started. I like to treat my TikTok seriously. I'm big on planning, which means I really need to put some thought into the story. It's good to visualize your ideas on paper with some doodles. So what I'm doing here is the storyboarding and I wanted to make a film about feeling uncertain about the direction you're going. But there's only me, so it needs to be simple. I wanna be able to just get on location first thing tomorrow morning, get my shots before anyone wakes up and evacuate. Storyboarding's a lot of fun. Not only does it help creativity, but it's great for planning. It guides the order that you shoot. In no time, I'd sketched out the whole film on paper. But it's time for bed now. Alarm set for 5 a.m. tomorrow. I'm in costume. I think I look quite miserable. I think I'm gonna miss the sunrise. It's the only reason I woke up early. So I'm here. Luckily, there's no one around. I don't think it's even 6 a.m. yet. I need to run through these shots. Hopefully, I'll get what I need. And thus commenced a lot of walking past camera, running back to retrieve it, and nice sights. That's kind of pretty. I think I have all the coverage I need. So considering that this film is about refinding your passion, I think it's quite fitting that I've definitely re-sparked a passion for filmmaking while making this. I don't really know what I was worried about. Right, let's go home. And that's a wrap. What did we learn? Number one, I look damn good in these earthy tones. But mainly, there's nothing to be ashamed of in doing what you want. That was definitely the, the spark I needed to get back into all of this. It's a day of new things, but I needed a shake up. But we're only halfway. This video deserves a good edit. So I'm piecing it together now, but I think I have everything I need. Building it out slowly in chunks. I'm gonna keep chipping away at it and hopefully it starts to reveal itself. I'm really happy with the way some of these shots look. But despite this, I couldn't shake that I needed something else. So I've worked on the edit for a few hours, but I feel like there's um, something missing. There's one key missing element, and I think that's some interesting typography or subtitles. I'm gonna do a technique I've used a, a few times and write out the whole script. Essentially, once I've written this down and taken a photo of it, all I need to do is throw it in Premiere and do some fiddling. Fiddling, you say? This is the raw photo. We need contrast, then invert it, remove the background with Luma key, tint it yellow, then add hella drop shadow. Easy. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse. All right. <clears throat> I've had a good night's rest, but the edit's done. I actually feel like this is one of my favorite videos I've ever made. The only thing to do is to export this and then wait for some sort of reception. I never know when it comes to posting TikToks because videos that I'm really proud of like this, they can flop tremendously. But if it does, I'm emotionally ready for it. He says worryingly. Either way, time to get this out into the world. No big deal, just post. And so that brings us here. It's been a few days since I posted now. It's got just over 700,000 views. Um, 
183,000 likes and the, the response has been pretty astounding. I said a couple days ago that I was mentally prepared for this to flop and it definitely didn't. I've been pretty taken aback with the, the response to this video. Some of these comments are amazing. A pretty resounding response is that this video was something a lot of people needed to see, which is great to hear because it's something that I needed to tell myself. I guess it's a feeling that we all share. Several people have even said that this video made them cry, including my friends Tejas and Sean, which is bonkers. I don't think any of my videos have ever had that sort of effect. Someone has even blown me away and said that they're going to get that line from the video, keep walking, tattooed. This video has um, gone further than I ever would have expected. It's really inspiring to act upon a fleeting moment of inspiration and see it through. So I hope it's been even just a little bit inspiring. I'm not a maniac, so the video that I made will be playing after this, but drop a like and a comment. I love you guys. You know what they don't warn you about? That sometimes passion goes missing. MIA, you had it there, clear as day, a path to walk. But somewhere before you realize, you're left dangling. But I knew the way, you said as your head swivels. I knew the way. And look, maybe you didn't. Maybe that's not your path. Or it is, and it's just on lunch break. But either way, there's only one option. Keep walking. What are you in a rush for? Look around. No one's here. Just keep walking.